Hi friends! Laura A. Grace here, the author of Dear Author Letters from a Bookish Fangirl and Team Lines of Poetry Collection. I am so excited to be introducing a new kind of video that is coming to my channel and that is going to be manga recommendations. As I've shared online and hopefully you may know if I haven't shared yet, I'm going to share now. I am a Christian manga creator and I write clean Christian manga and I've heard consistently from different writers that you need to read what you write and since I write mon clean manga, I am really excited to bring these videos to this channel so that it gives me more of an opportunity to be like, I need to read more manga because I I absolutely love finding awesome clean manga and today's video is featuring my very first one. Granted it's not the first clean manga I've read but I do hope to spotlight that series because it is so incredibly good. I've gushed about it on my social media more than once and it will definitely not be the last. And if you're just curious what manga I'm talking about, I am talking about Snow White with the red hair. However today we are not featuring Snow White, we are featuring perfect world. Oh, this cover is so beautiful. I love the features of with the pink like that's actually sort of what drew me to this cover and their expressions and I just thought it was pretty because pink if I'm honest. However, even deeper than that, I was recently looking for a clean manga to find and I found this one that is a romance about a man who is handicapped. The premise is E. Zuki, I, I hope I'm saying his name right, that was Tsugumi's first crush back in high school. Fast forward, she's 26 now and she comes across him once again and he is now an architect but he also now is handicapped. The story revolves around both of them from both of their perspectives which is really really awesome and it sort of confronts or faces, not sure you would say it, the prejudice that sometimes as people that we can have inside and not realize as Tsugumi sees as she's getting to know Izuki uh, once again. This story was so heart moving and very heartbreaking. There are many many deep veils and I will say that Tsugumi is a very relatable character because it really does make you think about how you personally view those who are in a wheelchair. Even if you're like I have you know I don't I'm not prejudiced you know even if you're thinking that sometimes just words that we can say that are not exactly, I guess you would say, handicap friendly. I feel like Izuki would not like me saying that and I've really struggled how exactly to word it because his story really moved me and it was just extremely eye-opening and gave me new understanding and empathy for those who are in wheelchairs and how hard it can be to do simple everyday things that we take for granted when walking on two legs with no problems. Bring in the romance aspect and it just adds a whole other layer of feels and of emotions and it just oh my goodness it was it was heartbreaking I definitely cried when reading this manga because there was just one scene that was just really overwhelming and I love just how Tsusugumi says sometimes things how it is especially when it comes down to the end because it needed to be said and I'm glad that it was said but there's also a scene too with Izuki where he addresses or he talks to a younger man and his feelings for his own handicap come out and oh I was wrecked guys I was wrecked I highly recommend this story especially if you're like okay I like manga but I don't like the funny over-the-top comedy kind of thing which I admit is mainly what I have read up to this point this is probably the most serious manga I've read to date my friend Mariah Jane who rec gives me a lot of recommendations for clean manga and such and shout out to her to Mariah because she mentioned this manga and I went and did some research and decided to get it she is like my anime manga guru just in case if you're curious and totally I will leave a link to her Instagram account down below if you want to go check her out because she shares fantastic manga and her books are incredible. However, she had told me that not all manga is funny and lighthearted. This book really did prove her correct. Not all manga is funny and there are some lighthearted moments. It's not all super heavy, I would say. Overall, I do think it is a very deep and emotional read. The manga creator mentioned that this was a one, sort of a one-shot manga, so I feel like the ending was absolutely perfect and you could stop there or you can keep reading. I'm undecided if I want to keep going because I really really loved how this manga ended and it was just beautiful and I am very curious and interested to see where things go next but I know it is not going to be easy for either one of them especially when there's you know, feelings of the heart that are involved. My overall rating of Perfect World, five out of five stars. If you're curious about the content in this story, there are only two curse words that I remember reading
reading. I would say it's definitely one of the cleanest manga that I've read to date, right up there with Snow White with the red hair. If you're looking for a manga from another perspective or another view, I highly recommend Perfect World. It has a beautiful romance and just a touching story that might just might make you cry, so have your tissues ready if you do pick it up. Let me know if you've read Perfect World or what are some other clean manga that you've read that you would recommend, and if there are serious manga that you have read that are not all comedy. I would be totally interested to hear in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!